As a production designer, what are some of the first few things you do when you first sign on with a job? When I first sign on to a job, well, I've usually read the script and met with the director. So th those were the preliminary things. And often when I, um, if it's a director I haven't worked with before, I make a presentation to show them of, um, at my meeting, my first meeting with them before I have the job, of my sort of visual concept for the movie. Um, and with Todd, I've worked with Todd before, so I, I didn't have to do that. And um, so I'm, when I met with, should I talk about when I met with Todd specifically? Sure, you can, yeah. Absolutely. I met with Todd specifically. It was myself and Ed Lockman, the cinematographer who I've worked with before, and Sandy Powell, the costume designer. And we all met in New York, where I live. And um, Todd kind of, we had a long discussion about the general feeling that he was trying to go for in Carol. And we talked a lot about the period of 1952 in New York City and how it wasn't really the bright, sunny 1950s that people usually think of, mid-century modern period, but it was this darker post-war period. So that was one of the most important things we talked about. And then we talked about um, Saul Leiter, the photographer, and some other photographers who had been photographing New York at that time, and the looks that they had achieved in their photographs and how we were going to emulate some of their elements in the look of the movie. Um, and from there, um, there's a few things that I do when I start a movie, and they're sort of going on at the same time. Um, I start location scouting, and um, that's a huge part of the movies I work on because um, some of them have very big builds, but they always have a lot of locations. And, um, and at the same time, I'm assembling a wall, a big wall, of re re visual reference um, that sort of shows what I think is the look of the movie and of research, um, the specific research. So for a period movie, there's a lot of specific research that has to be done. What color were fire hydrants in New York in 1952? They were black, by the way, but I didn't know that. So this is the kind of thing that, you know, it's all this trivia, but you have to know it to make a realistic looking movie. So you have the visual reference and the research. And the third thing that is important for the beginning of my process is to have is to figure out the color palette of the movie. So I myself have a large collection of vintage paint decks and um, paint chips, and I bring that to every movie I work on, not, not just period ones. And um, so we looked at the paint chips from the 40s and the 30s and the early 50s and picked out a sort of range of colors that we wanted to work with. And then I had my charge scenic, Pat Sprott, uh, who came with me from New York to Cincinnati, do a lot of color samples, um, two, by four, two by two color samples, which we lined up around the room. And at the same time, my set decorator, Heather Leffler, was getting fabric samples that we matched with the color samples. So we sort of had a Therese's apartment section and a Carol's house section and all the different motels um, section and the toy store. So we're kind of creating little pieces of all the different worlds that you can actually walk into the art department and, and get an idea of what the movie's gonna look like in the, in the sense of the color palette. 